Hey, so this is my blind mama's messy kitchen. I'm with my daughter, Kate. Say hi. Hi. And we're gonna make just something simple today. We're gonna make shepherd's pie. So right here I have about a pound, maybe a little more of ground beef. And this is a skillet that I'm gonna use um, with some bacon grease in it left over from earlier today when I made the broccoli salad. So the way I make sure that it's on the burner is yes, I'm dangerously touching the burner, but I haven't burned myself too bad yet. So we'll get that heating up. Turn it up a little bit higher. This stove top is tricky. It's uh, got many burners. I can't remember how many. We just remodeled our house, remodeled our kitchen and uh, I didn't realize what a challenge these flat type, flat top stoves would be, but I make it work. I have my favorite burners. I use this one the most, and this one for my big skillets. And uh, yeah, I actually don't even have to use that middle one for this, but I will. So anyway, and then yes, I am crazy enough to listen to see if the grease is popping yet get really close to it the pan gets hotter as the burner heats it up of course so i'm gonna go ahead and start right yep. ready mm -hmm. okay and my son dylan is my cameraman saw it because i can't figure out how to do it myself like johnny from blind nation thanks for encouraging me to do my video so i want to do a cooking channel on youtube um, because I get a lot of questions about cooking when you can't see. So, here we go. And, Caitlin, would you throw that away, please? Yep. Literally, well, yeah. Don't, don't tip it upside down. I know. So, a lot of people like to put their hamburger in in a large chunk and then cut it up with a spatula, but I don't do that. I like to get it going break it up with my hand. Mm -hmm. It just works out better that way. It cooks a lot faster. And it smells really good. Bacon grease. Yeah, that's what it smells like bacon. Yeah. I can't remember if I have my spatula on my cookie sheet. Is it there? Um, the, the, oh, no. Grab a spatula out, please. And I'm having her do it because my hands are obviously messy. But Dylan, show the cookie sheet. There you go. I learned this on a cooking for blind people page. Um, some of the things that other people do is put their stuff that they're going to need for their recipe on a cookie sheet. Therefore, you know, that way things don't get scattered yeah. around so much. Because that happens when you can't see. It happens when you can't see. When you can't see and your stuff gets scattered around, it's a real pain in the you know what. Well, I almost got all my hamburger in. All right, and here we go. Throw in this up some ground beef. I use my hearing to hear if it's sounding like I, I don't like it when it sounds a little bit too, you know, like it's frying it too harsh, I guess, because it scares me a little bit. So I'll turn it down a little bit. And I always put my hand down here towards the base, which is probably dangerous, <laughs> but it helps me guide where I'm at. Can't be afraid to use your hands when you're blind, that's for damn sure. So, while that's browning, Miss Caitlin, put my spatula over here. Mm -hmm. Put this plate in the sink. 
We are going to mix up our brown gravy, right, Missy? Yep. So we need a cup of water. Okay. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Don't be afraid to spill. Do you want to mix part of this in or you want me to do it? Mm, I'll do it. Okay, it's just a brown gravy mix, you know. Pour that into a cup of cold water and then whisk it all together for, I don't know, for how long until it starts to feel like it should be gravy. So Caitlin's gonna do that. Get up. Whisk is right there. I put it there. It won't fit. Oh. It won't fit. It won't fit. It's too big. <laughs> well, it does fit. It's too hard. You know what? And my grandma always used to say the best chefs make the best messes. And yeah, I make some pretty good messes. So whisk it until you think it's all mixed together. I don't know. What do you think? How's it look mm -hmm. to you, Shorty? I'll mix it up a little more. Okay. How are we doing, Dylan? You're doing good. Okay. <laughs> it's my first video. Bear with me. Um, second. Shepherd's pie. Well, second video, but my first video cooking. Everybody's been trying to get me to do it for a long time. The kids. My friends, Johnny from Blind Nation. <laughs> okay, it's all stuck. To me, it feels like it's starting to brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping it around. And yes, I've been known to flip the meat right out onto the burner and then it starts smoking. And I panic a little bit. <laughs> um, I do have a fear of grease fires, but that was on my old gas stove that that happened. It hasn't happened to me on my electric stoves. Hopefully it doesn't happen while I'm making a video. So my whole family likes to cook. My husband likes to cook. My kids like to cook. Dylan is great at making uh, different eggs. Sunny side up eggs. Omelets. Scrambled. Omelets. Scrambled. Scrambled eggs. eggs. That's his favorite thing to make right now. He's 11. Caitlin, she's... Eight. What do you think your favorite thing is to make? Cookies, brownies, cookies, brownies, brownies. brownies. sweets. Hmm. I like to cook anything. I just like to cook. That looks good. Yeah, it's feeling... Okay. Yes, I'm touching it. But, you know, ground beef, it's okay. I would never touch, like, a pan of frying chicken or anything like that. That would just be stupid. Um, I'm trying to decide if this needs to be drained or not. If it looks good. I mean, it's bacon grease, so what could it hurt the shepherd's pie, right? My husband says everything's better with bacon. It was a... 80-20 meat, so, and it's also going to bake in the oven, that's my oven is ready. I had Caitlin preheat it to 350. That's another challenge. We installed a, a double oven, convection oven, and I love it, but it's a digital readout, and we didn't think about that. Um, I'm going to turn this off because it sounds like it's starting to really be done. There's some raw meat on the stove. Well, raw meat on the stove? Yeah. Well, we'll have to pick that up later. Um, anyway, it's a digital readout and it's so sensitive that a feather could make the button go off. So I usually have to have help with that, which I don't like, but I like the other. 
So, where to put my paper towel? It's right here. Here, it's got stuff on it. <laughs> what? Here. Okay, I need a new paper towel, man. Okay. That's just nasty. Um, good. Oh, the peas. Oh, they're right there. We're gonna dump in the peas. These are peas I made last night, or my st stepson made last night. Say hi, James. Hi. <laughs> I told him I was making a video. I'm gonna put the brown gravy in it in a second. I didn't add any salt and pepper or anything because, I don't know, I think the brown gravy does a trick. Personally, and I don't really salt things very often because you can over salt, and I rather just let the person salt when they eat it. All right, got a brown gravy going in. And I already turned it off, but it's okay because these burners stay hot for a really long time. Brown gravy mix. Give it a good stir. This is one of my husband's favorites and the kids. Is it your favorites? Yeah. Dylan? Yeah, I love it. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna assume so. How you doing, Shorty? I am good. I make Okay. Oh, well. Here's the part that makes me a little nervous but I do it anyway and if I spill it oh well oh well <laughs> that's why they make rags and napkins and 409 so and I have extra eyeballs here to if I get crazy with it I get jiggy with it okay. get right here all right got my edge of my pan that's my mashed potatoes okay you got me, Dill? Oh, God. Please don't screw up. Okay. Yeah. Good. Put it in there. It's freaking heavy. This is an Emerald Lagasse pan. There you go. Some free advertising, Emerald. Hope I don't get in trouble. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. Hang on. Shake it. I like this pan because it's got the handle on the side. Touch it, it's hot. Okay. Uh, there, there. Got it? Yep. All right. We'll set this aside. I'm gonna set it over here. Watch your fern. Take, make, leave that. Up. No, I need this. You can't. Oh. You can't take my spatula. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were putting it up. <laughs> okay. So we'll spread hey. this around best we can. Sometimes this can get a little tricky when you're trying to spread stuff evenly. You know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Um, sometimes it's gonna be lumpy. That's all there is to it. As far as cakes go, I am not good at spreading out cake batter. So I will make a cake and I will pour it in and then somebody smooths it out. I do know blind people that do it and they use their hands. I just haven't tried that yet. All right. Mashed potatoes. These are leftover mashed potatoes we made Easter Sunday. They're red mashed with skins on. I need a spoon, me lady. Big? Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's only up left. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the little spoons are with the big spoons. Yeah, because your brother put away dishes, your oldest brother, so that's how that goes. Oh. Um, Wait, there's a bigger one. So these are just mashed potatoes. I We made them on Easter. Uh, oops, <laughs> some on the floor. It's all right. Dog will get it. It's messy kitchen. Yeah. It's mom, okay. blind mama's messy kitchen. Um, <laughs> anyway, I made way too many, and it's just red potatoes that I diced. I didn't peel them. Boiled them till they were soft. I believe we added um, oh, half and half, some sour cream, and some butter. We didn't use milk, we used all that up. Now see, here comes the spreading issue. 
me and my bright ideas picked a spreading project. Should I use my hands? Um, no, I shouldn't use because I gotta wash them. And so I'm gonna turn this part over to Caitlin. Yes. Go ahead and use the spatula. Okay. Spread it out. Go ahead and spread it out smooth. <clears throat> doing they're Good. cold too and maybe I should have warmed them up a little bit but they're cold so they're probably a little bit harder to spread yeah they're edges <clears throat> got it yeah Dylan has it <laughs> but even, he's multitasking even though he's it oh, no 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 Caitlin, while he's doing that, why don't you get the grated cheese out of the fridge? Which one? My husband is a cheese guy, so Colby Jack? we're going to, yeah, Colby Jack. We're going to spread some shredded Colby Jack over the top. No, I didn't grate it myself. Yes, I know it tastes better if you do. But, you know, I'm a busy mom. There's shortcuts here. Ow. How you doing, love? Done. Done. Cool. All right, Caitlin? You okay. spread some cheese over the top. Just spread the uh, Colby. I'm gonna clean up this raw meat. Colby. Yeah. Okay. A lot or a little? Cover the top. Okay. You know how your dad likes mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my oven is a challenge, but my husband, um, we remodeled our kitchen. Uh, it's still a small kitchen, but he designed it for me <laughs> so that everything would be close by. Um, huh? <clears throat> we just haven't figured out the, uh, the digital layout yet. Uh, we contacted the, the company we got it from and... The they fridge? really didn't have any solutions. <laughs> There's a fridge, so, the dishwasher, and I did the put, oven. I did put Braille on the oven, but like I said, you can just barely touch it and it goes off. So I could be having things, I could be proofing for bread and trying to bake lasagna at the same time, but it doesn't work. So, um, there's that. And the dishwasher is digital too, but it, I just use the normal setting. So that's not a hard thing. But, you know. Are you almost done? Yep. She's pretty much done. You're pretty much done. You want to get the hot pads from the bottom drawer? Um, I'll get them. What do you mean by that? The hot oh, the oven mitts. Oh, yeah. No, I'll get them. No, I'll get, no, I'll get, I'll get, get one. <laughs> Here. Yes, I need new oven mitts. On the okay, the oven is ready. Watch out, Shorty. I know. I'm gonna put it in at 350. Excuse me, Dylan. Put it in at 350. Everything's basically cooked, so and I feel the sides. I'm trying to get in the middle, but you know. I'll try it. Um, 350 for about 30 minutes till it's all blended and gooey and bubbly and yummy. So I'll show you guys the finished product in a little while. <laughs> 